Whew, it's crisp and cold and it smells good. Very nice. Well, I am at a rest area. So what am I doing? I'm resting. <laughs> I am resting my head. I'm resting my neck. I'm resting my body. I'm going to get something to eat. I am craving Mexican food so bad. Yesterday I was craving hamburgers, like all day long, hamburger, hamburger. And then I went by a place that said hamburgers. And I thought, well, let's try it. It's, you know, I'm in cattle country. I bet you they know how to make a good hamburger. It was 10 bucks for a little tiny hamburger, but honestly, it was so good. It was worth it. It was totally worth it. And it filled me up. It was actually maybe too much, maybe just enough. Um, because honestly, if it was twice as big, I would have eaten it all because it was that good. And I would have been in a world of pain. So you know how something's so good, you just can't stop eating it, but you should because your stomach is going to catch up. So yeah, it was one of those where it was just like, oh my goodness. They know how to make hamburgers in Wyoming. And so anyways, I am now in beautiful Montana. And uh, we are climbing, climbing, climbing altitude. We're at 7,100 feet right now. Yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, no, the day before that, we were at a little bit over 9,000 feet altitude and uh i don't know if it affects pets what i was saying was i don't know if it affects um our pets probably not the animals that are already acclimated to this you know environment but as far as our animals that are not i wonder if it affects them because roxy gets really tired when i go up higher in altitude and for me i just notice it when i'm hiking you know, just taking a deeper breath. But they say with older people, would that be myself? Yes. Um, I'm right there at the cutoff line. I'm going to be 55 pretty soon. Um, you can send gifts now. I'm okay with that, you know. So you have my address. Um, I like things that are sparkly. I like things to eat. I like things that are warm and fuzzy. I like... Um all things for cooking, all things for camping, all things for building fires, all things for um, living a luxurious life like spas and manicures. I like things for cooking. I like things for um, pets. I like things for um, cooking. I'm just kidding. Can you tell I'm kidding? <laughs> I don't cook. Anyways, um, I like things to keep my hair up. Anyways, um, yeah, I was just wondering if it keeps, if, if people Ugh, i don't even know what i was saying how we function oh my goodness <sighs> all right let's just stop right now while we're ahead anyways what i was trying to say before my brain rudely interrupted itself um was i know it affects older people and they say that you should go maybe like 2,000 feet and then let your body acclimate, like rest, take some time, you know, maybe even spend the night wherever you're at and then another 2,000 feet and then continue, you know, because it's hard on your body as you get older and drink lots of water. You'll have to go urine a little bit more often. Um, what else? Your appliances like your propane stove won't work as well or no it's like cooking stuff or water won't boil as quickly so i guess that has to do again with oxygen i'm so smart gosh <laughs> i where did i learn all this stuff uh trial and error like being up in high altitudes and finding out i can't breathe and my water is taking longer to boil <laughs> and i'm really thirsty and i'm always going to the bathroom no anyways all right, I need something to eat. I'm getting like, you know what? It's the high altitude. My brain is a little funny. I feel a little like drunk. I feel a little like off. 
little dizzy, more dizzy than normal. <laughs> Alright, bye guys.